Hey, it's Ron. Uh, today we've got a little unboxing of the Lenovo Idea Center Stick 300. It's one of the stick PCs, basically. Kind of like the Intel CompuStick. It's a, as you can see, pretty plain box. It does have a built in HDMI connector, which as you see there. It does also support 802.11b, G, and N Wi Fi, as well as Bluetooth 4.0. <clears throat> it does have a full USB uh, and then also up here you can see it's got a micro SD card slot and the specs on this thing are 32 gig of uh, SSD storage 2 gigabytes of RAM Windows 10 Home 32 bit I believe it's 32 bit I say that watch it not be and then the Atom quad core processor it's a 1.33 that also has a turbo up to 1.86 gigahertz with just standard Intel HD graphics the exact model of this is a uh, Idea Center Stick 300-01IBY I'll have that down in the description uh, be looking about 130 to 150 for one of these deals which isn't really a bad uh, bad idea if you're just wanting a basic PC that will plug into your HDTV and not really take up much room alright uh, let's get to the, the main event here <clears throat> should have like magical music playing there's an empty box there <clears throat> All right, now we got the stick itself. It's got the nice little Windows logo. Uh, see how we've got the it's in the micro SD card slot there. In the back, another. Then we have a full USB 2.0, and then a micro USB for the power adapter, and then the power button. And then underneath this little deal here, we've got the HDMI. Inside, we got just a quick start guide, safety. No one wants to be safe. All right, that's all that's in there. And inside here, let's see, we got the USB power cable, a mounting stick, a mounting uh, clasp. Put the stick in there, and then adhesive it to the wall or what have you. We've got an HDMI extension cable, which is really nice if you got uh, US or HDMI's that are right up against the end, or you don't have enough room to get this big stick in here. As you can see, quite a big difference in size. And finally, the power brick. <clears throat> Just a standard USB connection. It is 5.2 volts at 2 amps. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. I said you can pick these up on Amazon, Lenovo's website, things of that sort. Uh, I'm going to be hooking this up and testing it out on my 24-inch uh, there, 1080p monitor. I'm going to have a video of that soon. Have a good one, guys.